Well, hello, welcome here to my channel and to today's video. I am so excited to share a thrift haul with you guys today. I just went to the thrift store a couple of days ago and funnily enough, I was looking for coffee glasses. That was the only thing that I went for. Didn't find any, but I found so many other great finds. A lot of these things were sort of in a mental list of things that I've been looking for for quite a while, even over a year. Not necessarily actively looking for, but just kind of tucked away in my mind. And so a lot of this I saw and was like, oh, that's exactly what I've been looking for and I'm thrilled to share with you. We've got some baskets, some wooden things, some toys, some clothing, home decor, a little bit of everything. If you didn't see my previous thrifting video, I will link that in the description box. I took you guys along with me as I went thrifting and shared what I got in that video. And then soon I'm going to do a thrift styling video where I use these things as well as the things from that video and show you how I'm actually styling them and using them to decorate. A lot of things will require some DIY projects, some I've already started on and I'm really looking forward to completing and taking you guys along for the process. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. You can even turn on the bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload new videos, which is every Wednesday. I share videos all about motherhood and homemaking and I'd be thrilled for you to join the journey. A big part of my business is also selling flashcards and prints, so I will leave my shop linked in the description for you to check out. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first I picked up a couple baskets. I always take a look at the basket section, but I actually haven't got baskets in a long, long time. This one caught my eye because I've been looking for these sorts of baskets, almost like a bread basket, to put toys in for Danny. I'm planning to add a little bit of a toy nook downstairs for him as he's getting older, once he is walking, to have a designated area to keep his toys. And I'm looking at getting some sort of shelf to have shelf work baskets for him with different blocks, just different things that I'll kind of rotate through. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'll also share the prices that I got everything for. I kept my receipt for just that reason. So this was a great deal. I picked up this basket as well. This was just super cute. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use it for, but I think it would be sweet on a shelf. That's what I sort of envisioned when I saw it. And in my last thrifting video, I shared about this large shelf that I found, a great deal. And I think this would look cute on top of that, or even on a bookshelf, even to put more toys in like this one. But I really liked the lighter color and then also the handles I thought was really cute. This larger basket caught my eye immediately. It's in really good condition. And I thought that this would be so fun as sort of a picnic basket for the spring and summer if we're just going to the park and wanna bring some snacks or toys or whatever. It's just kind of a fun thing to carry, especially with this handle. But additionally, I could style it in here with some flowers or even a blanket. I'm not sure, I'll have to play around with it a little bit. Oh, I also thought when I saw this in the store, I thought that would be really cute for books to put picture books in because it's so big and then it's nice to carry around. So this might be something I also use in our sort of toy area. Okay, moving on to clothing. I, I always kind of look through the clothing at thrift stores, but I truthfully don't usually find too much. But this time I did find, I found one thing for each of us. So for Danny, I got this little blue t-shirt. Actually, they're all blue, which is kind of funny. This is from Old Navy and it's 2T. So he won't wear this for a while, but I think it was only a couple dollars. So it was a great deal. I'm also curious if you are a mom and like thrift for your kids clothing, how like far in advance do you buy things? You're like, what size up? Because I really debated getting this because I was like, he probably won't wear it until like a year from now, if that. And I don't want to just have a bunch of things lying around that we're not using yet. But at the same time, it was a great deal. So let me know in the comments if you just get things if they're a great deal knowing that you'll use them or if you just kind of wait. I'm curious about that. For my husband Silas, I got this shirt. It's a little bit wrinkled now. I did already wash all of these things, but it is the Kirkland brand from Costco, which he has some other shirts from there that I've got him and he really likes them. And I loved this blue color for him and it was his size. I was excited about that find and it honestly seems brand new. How sweet is this little sweater? 
I saw this and immediately thought of one of my very good friends who I know would use this for one of her little girls. Look how cute these little bobbles are. I just love that. Anyways, I immediately thought of her, texted her and she said, grab that for me. So I did and I'm excited to give that to her. And then the last thing I got for clothing was something for myself, which I was very excited about because I don't usually find clothing for me when I'm thrifting. I don't know if it's that I tend to be picky or I just don't take long enough to look through, but I had looked through all the dresses and I was like, there's not really anything catching my eye. But I went back just to take one more peek and I saw this one which I thought was so cute. So there's quite a few things that I love about this dress. I love the pattern. I think it's very dainty and feminine and it is very light. Like it just feels like the perfect spring and summer dress. It was my size. It looked like it would fit and it seemed brand new. The quality was really good and I like that it is about knee length because this is a dress that I would actually wear around the house in the spring and summer, kind of just like a day dress. I like wearing dresses in the warmer months because they're very cool, very comfortable. And this was actually the most expensive thing that I bought at the thrift store, go figure. All right, you guys know I always check the dishes, the pottery sections, and I got some things that I've been looking for. I always look at the bowls. I don't usually see anything, but this one immediately caught my eye. I love the scalloped edge. And most of my other dishes are white, especially my hostess wear is all white. It's just more simple for me that way. So I thought this would be a great thing to use as a serving bowl, but I also have been looking for a fruit bowl. So this could be a fruit bowl, could maybe be a mixing bowl, but I think it's kind of shallow. But this was just one of those pieces I knew I had to get because I could see myself using it in so many different ways. If there's one thing I've learned from thrifting, it's to circle back around and go through sections again because many of these things I didn't see the first time and then I looped back around and then saw it such as the serving platter, which is a set with this bowl. I didn't even notice that the first time I saw it, but obviously went back for it. This will be so great for hosting. I don't have a large platter. I only have sort of a medium one and a small one that are both white, so this will fit in perfectly. And it's so funny to me because I was at a store just a few weeks ago looking at all the hostess wear and was very tempted to buy some. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait see if I can maybe find something thrifting. It wasn't an immediate need. And sure enough, this is what we got for a fraction of the price if I got these things new. This little glass was one that I immediately grabbed. I actually got this a couple weeks ago, so this was the only thing not from this thrift haul the same day. But this is a cute little coffee glass, and this is kind of what I was looking for more of on this thrift shop experience. And this is just so cute. I've already been using it for my afternoon coffees. I also picked up this little teacup and saucer. I actually got this for a DIY that I'm doing here soon, actually outside, so stay tuned for that. But I thought that this pattern was just so pretty. I love the springtime flowers. And these are like all my favorite colors, pinks and blues and yellows. And they are made in England. English fine bone china. There was actually like five or six of the set and I contemplated getting another one because it was just so pretty and I sort of wish I had because I'd actually been using this little plate under a candle to just add some decor. So maybe I should have got another one, but that's okay. There was a lot of really cute teacups, but these ones caught my eye. All right, now moving on to some wooden things that I picked up. This is where I really scored some good deals. All right, let's start off with this little rolling pin. This was a cute find, but also a practical one because the only rolling pin that I have is very large, like very long. It doesn't fit in any of my drawers or even cupboards. So I've thought for a long time about getting a smaller one. I saw this one and grabbed it. I think it could even possibly fit in my utensil crock, but I will definitely use this for baking. These little hooks were also an immediate add to cart for me. These were also brand new. The tag was still attached. I think it 
was from some organization store. I forget what, but I do think I know where I'm gonna put these, somewhere in our kitchen dining area, and then have different cute things hanging off of them. So very excited to style that. I do always look through the toy section, especially keeping an eye out for wooden toys. And I got this. What is this called? I don't remember. Oh, I forget what these are called, but this is from Ikea originally. And I, I don't actually think it's available on the website. I looked it up, but I do remember seeing it. It's probably like $20 on there. And I got it for a fraction of that. So that was very exciting. This is another thing that we won't use for a long, long time. So I really debated buying it because I don't want to just get stuff that's just going to take up space but I had the idea that it could also serve as a wall decoration in our toy sort of area for the time being because I could easily hang it like this. I don't know if I'd hang it. I'd probably hang it like this, I guess. And it could just add some fun color, some fun texture to the wall. All right, I have some fun goodies in this wooden thing. This is like a magazine rack of sorts. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this, and I wasn't necessarily looking for this, but I have found that it is difficult to store books. Obviously you have bookshelves and things, but books that we're actually reading or using, I like to have easily accessible. So I think this would be good to put beside the couch or beside the chair in our bedroom as a way to store even like magazines that I have or different devotionals and things that we can kind of just pick up, read through when we have some spare time. Now that I am a boy mom, I <laughs> always look for different wooden trucks and cars and vehicles and I found some really cute ones. These were things that I have been tempted to buy new in the past from Etsy and I just never have because usually they are more expensive because they're real wood and I found all these for such a great price. So this one is a favorite. I think that is so cute, a little like pickup truck. And then this one goes with, I guess it's like a set, this little car. I might even put some of these in Danny's room on a shelf to decorate. That would be very sweet. And these were all in like the grab type bags where they just put things in that are kind of similar. So some are sort of mismatchy. There's these ones. These ones are super cute too. Oh my goodness, how fun. <laughs> That's so cute. I love the yellow. And then this one as well. So that's a fun, fun set with both of them. It says these are from Plan Toys, which I've never heard of, but those are great. Oh, and then there's another one too. Huh? Oops, how fun is that? So we've got a little set of three, how sweet. So these, of course, I will put away until he's a bit older to appreciate them. There's this one, which I might hold on to. I might let it go, I'm not sure. Um, it looks a little bit older, a little bit more worn. And then same thing as this one. This one was included, but we maybe don't need all of these, so I might maybe donate these. We have this little car, which is really interesting because if you look on the bottom, it says that it was made here in Canada. So it looks like it was probably handcrafted, I'm guessing. And there's actually somebody's name on it, Mrs. Vanderwelden. So I'm guessing that these were in a classroom as a classroom set with this teacher. And I just think that is so special. Being a teacher myself, that's just so cool that these used to be in a classroom. Like so many kids have probably played with these and now we have them. I think that's so neat. And then also in the same set was this train set that I'm trying to put together here, which is so cute. I love just the natural wood look. This would definitely be cute on a shelf in Danny's room. It's kind of more decoration, but I'm sure he'll enjoy playing with this when he is older as well. And last but not least, there's this little thing, like a trolley trailer. I'm not even sure what goes with this, but it might just be a kind of a random piece in there. Sometimes that happens with the grab bags. And what do you know, I got yet another shelf. This one is a little bit more medium sized than the one that I got previously. And it caught my eye because it has the shelf part and then also the hooks, which are very cute. But now I have, I think, three shelves to style. I think I know where I'm going to put all of them. This one I'm leaning towards putting here in our bedroom on this wall 
It is painted this green color. You can see the natural on the back, which I like, but it does need a fresh coat. So let me know your thoughts. Should I paint it green, maybe a darker green, or even black might be good, or white? I'm not sure, let me know your thoughts. The only thing that I was not too keen on about this is the heart. I just think it's a little bit too, uh, not vintagey, but I guess it probably is vintage. I think this would be a 10 out of 10 if it didn't have that heart cut out. But then I thought maybe I can put some sort of picture on it or something to kind of cover it up. I don't know, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions and creative input. I do appreciate that it has this ledge for putting pictures on the back of it, that will be handy. And I'm definitely excited to incorporate this. I did also think this could be cute in the little play toy area downstairs. We'll have to play around with it and see, which really is half the fun in my opinion. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we picked up. Don't forget to like this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.